Cropping offers you the ability to size an image to a particular shape or aspect ratio. And Photoshop offers several different controls within the crop tool to let you be as specific as you want. Let's take a look. First off, with an image open, I'm gonna choose Window, Workspace, and I'm gonna use the Essentials Workspace. Now, select the crop tool by pressing the letter C. You'll notice that the crop tool is active if across the top are several options. For example, you can click the drop down menu here to pick a particular aspect ratio or potentially a size. For example, if I wanted to crop for delivery for a standard size print, I could choose five by seven. And in this case, it made a vertical shot. Or if I wanted to swap those values, just click the arrow in between and you see how it recomposes the crop. Now, as we start to make this change, you'll notice that the preset menu just loaded its settings here into the different fields. So for example, if I choose something for screen use, let's say this one here, 1280 by 800, that sizes it to a standard computer ratio. Or I can type in something like a video aspect ratio of 1920, being sure to specify PX for pixels, by 1080 PX. And again, you'll notice that the shape is taken on by that actual aspect ratio. Now, there are some other options here that are pretty important across the top, and I recommend you pay attention to them. First up, you'll notice that it provides a resolution field here. This allows you to specify the resolution for the actual image. In the case of something here like 1920 by 1080, that doesn't really matter for screen use. But if I go back to the five by seven, it just assigns the aspect ratio. On the other hand, if I look at width by height resolution, you'll see that you can actually be more specific. So let's say I wanted seven inches for a print, seven IN by five IN, then I would assign the pixel resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now what it will do when it crops is not only will it change the aspect ratio, but it will actually adjust the total pixel size for this image. In this case, I have enough resolution. I see that the original source image is about 3000 pixels across. Well, at 300 pixels per inch times seven, that's 2100. So I'm okay to crop, it won't actually have to enlarge the image in doing so. If you keep looking across the top, there are a few more tools that matter. While cropping, you might decide you wanna check for a level horizon. You can click straighten here, and then draw a vertical line or a horizontal line and have it straighten the image. In this case, I just used the side or the top of this building here off in the horizon, and you see that it leveled the horizon to that subject. Additionally, you have the option to choose different overlays. Some people prefer the rule of thirds to help with compositions, but there's different crop overlays here that you can look at depending upon how you like to compose the frame. Each of these is based on different design principles. For example, the golden spiral here just helps identify some of the places to put key subjects for the composed image. Next to this, you'll also find other options. This gives you the ability to choose how things behave, including if it darkens the area outside of the crop, and you can also see what happens to that area outside of the crop, or the ability to switch to the more traditional crop tool if that's what you prefer. Next to this, there are some additional options of what happens when we crop. When you make the crop, you have an important choice. Do you want to keep the pixels that are outside of the crop and do a non-destructive edit? That's useful in case you need to recrop in the future or you change your mind. Or are you looking to discard that information to get the file size down and only keep the pixels you care about? That's what this delete crop pixels options for. I'm gonna to choose to delete them in this case. Additionally, if you're expanding the crop, there's options here to use AI, but we'll explore that a little bit later in the course. Now when I'm ready to apply the crop, I just click the checkbox and the image takes on the new aspect ratio and the resolution. You'll see, for example, if I check the image resolution option here under image size, that the current size is as follows seven by five at 300 pixels per inch. If I switch that to measure in pixels, I'll still see the same translation there. Seven inches becomes 2100 pixels across. 
So in this case, I performed several things with one tool. I leveled the horizon, I changed the aspect ratio of the photo, and I sized it for a particular print resolution output.